Coming up next, Frank and Mary here in Framingham uh, with me, Art Bergeron, uh, and my co-host, Grace O'Donnell from the Callahan Center. Our guest this week is Lisa Urshkernis, uh, who has been with us to, before, but is coming on specifically today. She's the social services director at the Callahan Center to talk about the Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program. You always think of it as SNAP the farmer's market coupons and other benefits that are especially um, available to seniors, to folks over 60. Stay tuned. Welcome to this episode of Frank and Mary in Framingham. I'm Grace O'Donnell, the Director of Elder Services at the Callahan Center. I'm Art Bergeron. I'm an elder law attorney at Myrick O'Connell. Um, we're a large multi, multi-specialty firm. There are 70 of us. Everybody gets to do what they like. I like doing elder law. Uh, but this is not about elder law. This is about my friends Frank and Mary. Uh, if you've been to any of my presentations or seen any of my seminars, you know that Frank and Mary's goals in life is simple. They want to live in their house until they die and be buried in the backyard. And if that's Framingham, that means right here. They don't want to move far away. They don't want to go to their kids in Texas. They want to go to Marlboro. They don't want to go to Boston. They want to be in Framingham. So the question is, who are the people that you need to know? And what are the programs that you need to know about if you're like Frank and Mary and you want to stay right here in Framingham? Hi, Arthur. Our guest today is Lisa Ushkarnas, Social Services Director at the Callahan Center. Hi. So, so we're, Lisa- We're excited we want- to see you again. I just want to say, you know, and, and, and every time, I, and I'm getting better at pronouncing Lisa's name. I know I, I can't be alone in this, right? <laughs> that, you know, we, it's been a long time, you know, we're working on this, and I, and I, but I, a lot of people can actually say Ushkernis now, which is something, you know? That is, that, that's my husband's name. That, I don't have my name in it too long, too complicated, but well done, Arthur. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yours is too complicated? This is your husband's name? Yes. Right. <laughs> I will not comment. Sorry, okay. Grace. <laughs> so, Lisa, I know you wanted to fill people in about the Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program. Can you start off just by telling us a bit more about what that's about and who's eligible for it? Right. Um, we are one of the outreach partners for the SNAP program. Um, we've been doing it about seven months, trying to spend more time and energy reaching out to people who don't think they qualify, don't really understand what it's about. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about that. I want to give a couple examples of people who might qualify and then tell you some of the criteria. Um, a very common situation is somebody's spouse or partner um, passes away and there's a loss of an income and um, outstanding medical bills and somebody who's worked their whole life um, doesn't want to ask for any help, but in fact could get some benefits from SNAP, which is a card, looks like a credit card. It's not the old fashioned food stamps. So you, you got to rip it off and everybody knows that you have them. It's a credit card, which is really nice, an EBT card. Um, so folks like that would be possibly eligible. Uh, somebody who's lost their job recently, who's over 60. We had a lot of car repairs, a lot of dental expenses. All those things can be deducted from how much you're allowed to earn. Um, assets, assets are not counted, uh, cars, boats, you know, another place, um, those kinds of things. They just look at your monthly income and then there's a a lot of deductions. Um, So we spend a lot of time talking to people about options that could be helpful to them so they can continue, as Arthur said, to live in their home. Um, As a community outreach partner, um, I'm able to go online and do the application online and have ability to communicate back and forth um, with the people that are screening the application if there's confusion or it wasn't filled out properly, that's been really helpful. Um, So in other words, you can kind of streamline this for people, make it easier for them? Streamline, yes. Um, I help people get their verifications. Usually it's, you know, a bank statement. 
um, your social security benefit letter, your pension letter, um, how much it is to live in your home. Not a whole lot of verifications actually. And you get a phone interview over the phone. Um, if I can look at my chart, a, a family of one, the gross income limit is $2,147. But they look at the net income, which can't be over $1,064. For a family of two, household of two, it's $3,660 for the gross limit. The net income for that would be $1,437. And that those income limits are on a monthly basis because most people yes, are familiar with what they get for their monthly pension or their monthly social security. Right. Okay. Right. That's correct. Um, people usually get the highest amount is $194 you can get on your card. Mm-hmm. Some people get, you know, $25. It all depends. Um, you can't use your SNAP benefits to buy toilet paper or, you know, a, a box of envelopes that you need or stamps. It's only for food items. Um, a lot of people will spend their SNAP benefit on vegetables and protein, um, you know, hydration products, and then they'll go to Walmart or BJ's and get all their paper products. And they can really save a whole lot of money and be able to use it for some other expense that they might have. You know, new hearing aids cost a lot of money, those kinds of things. Um, Medical deductions are also part of um, the program. So if you have any over-the-counter um, vitamins, uh, aspirins, incontinence supplies, and a lot of people, older adults have incontinent issues. Um, those products are wicked expensive. Those can all be taken off the formula of, of um, what you're qualified for. If you travel back and forth to Newton Wellesley Hospital or to Boston or back and forth to have blood work done in Framingham, the travel expenses, if you have to keep the receipts, those can also be taken off um, off as well. And so people often don't think they have a lot of deductions, but when I sit down and talk to them, it's like, oh, how about this? How about that? And they actually end up having a lot more than they realize. Um, the other thing that's kind of nice is now we have farmer market coupons, which is a, a booklet of 25 coupon, twenty-five dollars worth of coupons one per household. Um, and you can go to the farmer's market and buy um, f- fruits and vegetables, different times of the year. In the summer, you might enjoy corn, you might like tomatoes, you may want to wait later in the year, go see what they, you know, what they have. Um, there's a new program. Go ahead, Grace. Yeah, I was going to ask about, I heard something about something called the Healthy Incentive Program, where if people purchase produce from certain vendors, they have to be designated vendors, they can actually get more money put back onto their EBT SNAP card. Can you tell us more about that? Yes. Um, You can get up to uh, $80 per month on your SNAP card if you buy all kinds of produce at the farmer's market. Um, There's different vendors that don't accept SNAP cards um, or not part of the healthy incentive program. So you have to ask before you go. But it's kind of, it's, a, it's it, it, you're doubling what you, what, you, what you paid for. They put it back on your card the following month. So it's a good incentive to buy healthy vegetables and fruit and um, produce that's, you know, good for you. Um, and then you get it back on your card. Which so, is, can I just, can sorry. I just. Go I'm ahead, sorry. Arthur. I just had a couple of comments. First of all, this applies to so many seniors. When you're describing this, when you just described that classic situation, the husband dies, the wife's social security just got wiped out. She's now getting her husband's, but the typical one is $2,000 or less. You know, I do this all the time, right? People of our generation, people of my, I'm 71, people older than me, not older than you ladies, but older than me, right? Um, that's going to be like the benefit, right? And so, and so, just about everybody, it, for just about everybody, it's worth seeing if they can figure this out. The second thing is, as what is absolutely clear from listening to Lisa, no normal human being can figure this out, right? right. So, so don't feel like oh, you're stupid because you can't figure it out. There's a million little that that is the key to having a professional yeah. who is advocating for you is that they know to say, oh, how about the, 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 you know, the parking at the garage at, 
at, at Brigham and Women's, you know, mm. and the other, you just, who would know this stuff or who would know to ask, you know? And so don't, so, so you don't say no to yourself and get a professional who can help you, which leads me to the third point. This is such a tremendous service that you have become a community partner um, so that you can be, really be the person who's doing that translating. Because, you know, I mean, what do I know? I do, I do law. I don't do that, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be coming to me to do that because you're going to be paying me more than what you save by getting the SNAP benefits, you know? But, but, but you know, but, but by reaching up, by, by having the Callahan Center really be involved this way, you're giving this tremendous resources to resource to a ton of people. Like, and I think the, the smart, this, this, isn't that so classic Massachusetts, you know, that they've actually built in the, the, you know, if you're eating green, right. And you're eating Aggressive. local. So it's supporting all of our farmer, our farmers yeah. and your quality is going up. That is just so cool. I mean, yeah. I know I'm dating myself by saying cool, you know, but that is just so Awesome. It's wonderful. I'm dating myself by saying that, but you know, it's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. It makes sense. I and mean, a lot of things don't make sense. <laughs> um, what we try to do at the Callahan Center, if somebody calls on the phone, sometimes an adult child will call to say, my mother or father's in a different circumstance now. My, my mother or father passed away. She's got the water bill. She's got the taxes. She's trying to put heat in her house. We're able to have a conversation on the phone or in our office to say, what else might you qualify for? like fuel assistance. We have a property tax program that you can work so many hours within a certain period of time and get $1,000 off your taxes. We have tax deferral. All these things you never thought about because you never needed it. And we're able to sort of assess where you're at and what could be really helpful. We have not been able to do any outreach because of COVID, but you know we want to be able to be available at the center at a table or on the community at a table um, so that people can come over and see what we're about. I have a lot of stuff that are displayed so nobody knows that oh, I'm going over there to get SNAP benefits. I have a lot of stuff. So you could be looking at anything and I could say, hey, sounds like this could be helpful to you. Why don't you call me in a couple of days? Nobody would ask you anything up front. Um, the, the fact that we can do it online is really wonderful. It goes really, really quickly. Um, and people get mailed out a SNAP card, EBT card, like a credit card, immediately, even if you don't qualify, because they want you to be able to use the card the minute they put money on it. So they don't want to wait. Okay, you qualify. It takes 10 more days for you to get a card. You already have the card. It doesn't get activated until you've, you know, been um, approved for, for SNAP benefits. Wow, that's a great new development, Lisa, that I didn't even know about that you get the card and then they activate it. That makes it so much quicker uh, for yeah, people to uh, be able to use it. And if you're in need, you're in need. And, you know, people, medical bills pile up, car payments pile up. If you know that I have $75 on my EBT card, I'm going to go twice a week grocery shopping. These are my staples. These are my, this is what my diet's about. Um, one thing I didn't talk about is if you live with other family members or you live with other adults, if you buy your own food and you prepare your own food, you're considered your own household. So there are family members that live with their children or other, you know, brother or sister. You could be your own person as an individual household, if you prepare your own meals. That may be the case if you're married and you and your spouse eat different times and eat different food. However, if you're married and living in a home, you only count as one household together, even if you eat separately or you have different tastes in food. Um, so even, if, even if you're mad at your husband, you can't get two cards because, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, because you know, you're fighting. No, I, I just wanted yeah. to add one, one, just one other thing. Once again, for folks who are listening, it, it, this is not, as, as Lisa said at the beginning, this is not an asset-based program. This is totally an income-based program. You can have that big house that, you know, is the house that you never want to leave because you're Frank right. and Mary. And by the way, it happens to be in Framingham and not in Arkansas. So it's now worth a boatload of money, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, but, and, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, so you take the whole asset question off the table. And, and I just wanted to ask a question that kind of is a follow up to that, that on the income side, once you're on, are people like breathing down your neck to kind of requalify you for, you know, oh, you know, is your income changed, yada, yada, yada. Can you just talk about, because a lot of people are just concerned about being, you know, caught in the system. Yeah, net, net, yeah. 
um, you renew every three years. If a circumstance changes, though, like all of a sudden you have to buy urinary incontinence products or now you need um, dental um, work done, you need a new hearing aid, you need to get a transport wheelchair or durable medical equipment, all those things change how much you can get. So you make it $64, but if you contact your worker and say, I have some new expenses, just like senior housing, if you have new expenses, um, you, if you tell them, you will get an increase in your SNAP benefits. Also, oh, if you win the lottery, you have to tell them as well. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but, but when I think about, you know, so I dealt, I dealt with the housing stuff, but that's all, that only happens annually. The change happens annually. Right. This is if, every you had a, years. if you had a change in your ex, the expense side of your, on the expense side of your ledger, can you talk to them, you know, le, you know, sooner than that in terms of getting an adjustment to your SNAP? Yes, yes. And I mean, it's a consumer's opportunity to notify them. You know, workers would not, DTA and workers wouldn't <laughs> know something's changed. So when we get somebody approved, we give them information to take home because you don't remember everything that you talk about that say, hey, don't forget to have these deductions. These are going to count and they're going to work for you. And people, you know, they have savings, but they're saving it for other things. Their taxes, prepaid burial expenses. You don't want to touch any of that. So if you have a little bit of leeway with the stamp benefit card, um, you can just feel more comfortable, you know? That's the senior's as, as biggest... You Biggest fear, right? Biggest fear that you've got you, these savings, you got this huge house, you know, and is it going to last? Is it going to last? So, so this really helps them with the, just that. I remember talk, there was this one um, pre presenter who we were talking about reverse mortgages, you know, and 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 he said, you know, for for many many seniors, the difference between a comfortable lifestyle and a nervous lifestyle is like a hundred dollars a month. It isn't like a huge number. Yeah, no. good point. No. Right. Yeah. And, you know, people work their whole life. They pay taxes their whole life. If you need a little bit of assistance, this is absolutely the time to do it. You know, it's supplementing you so that you can live more comfortable and not being all nervous and stressed out and calling your family members all the time. My water bill, this, that. Um, you can feel like you have more money to spend because you have the SNAP card, you can buy the food that you want to buy at the grocery store that you want to buy it. Yeah. And that's the thing that I want to encourage people to keep in mind. You know, we understand that this benefit was set up specifically knowing that seniors reach a certain point where their limited income isn't keeping pace with how expenses have increased. And so yeah. this is a way for you to stay ahead of that. And I've heard from some people say, well, I don't want to access this benefit because I don't really need it. Maybe somebody else really needs it. The point is, this is a fund that is, it is well-funded and everyone who needs it can get access to it. So by you getting a hundred dollars a month on, of this benefit doesn't mean that someone else who needs it isn't going to access it. If they have someone like Lisa in their corner, they're going to get that benefit too. So you receiving it isn't going to mean somebody else doesn't receive the same benefit if they if they are eligible. Yeah. That's a really good point, Grace. Yeah. And people feel like, you know, I don't want anybody to know I, I have SNAP benefits. Everything is completely confidential. You have yeah. your card, you put it in your wallet. Nobody, yeah. your kids don't need to know. <laughs> Nobody needs to know except for you. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times people do say, well, I'm okay. Well, mm -hmm. okay is like, I still don't have enough money for my taxes that are due in a month. That's not okay. That makes you feel really stressed out and overwhelmed, depressed. You don't sleep. If you know you have more funds to put away for those kinds of things because you're spending less at the grocery store, that makes all the difference, you know? Yeah. Can I just, the, throw it, yeah. Sorry, just, can I just throw in one other piece? For folks who think that the government was really just doing this for poor people, right? So the biggest lobby for this benefit is not the welfare workers, it's the Department of Agriculture. It's always been the farmers. This was always considered to be a major boon to American farmers because what you're buying is what they're making. Yeah. So it is. So think of it as, and I, that's why I think it's so appropriate that there's this whole green piece now that they're actually encouraging purchases from local farmers yeah, because yeah. the big farmers lobby was always out of the Midwest, you know? So think of it as not, you know, you're doing these, far you're doing American farmers a favor right? By getting the SNAP benefits, right? So don't yeah. think that it's like, you know, because it's true, people, especially 
you know, we, we all know, them, you know, folks that just feel like, oh my God, I don't want to take advantage of the system. You know, I'm not a welfare queen. You know, I don't mm. want, I'm not trying to beat anybody. And you're like, Hey, this is, this is, you know, it's backed by the, by the farmers. It's, 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 and it's, it's your tax dollars at work. Absolutely. Except the difference is at this point in your life, you're paying less taxes than you were, but you've right. been paying for this for 60 years, you know, mm-hmm. so don't feel really, bad yeah. about getting the benefit, you know? Yeah. That's a really good point. Arthur is that through their lifetimes, people have contributed to this. And yeah. now when their income has been decreased, it is available for them to tap into so that they can eat more healthy. And the older we get, the better nutrition we need. It's, it's not as healthy for us to eat fast food, even though that may be less expensive. It's better for us to eat unprocessed things that you know grow from the ground and that are we are making them ourselves with less sodium in it and all of that. So you know, people, it would be to people's benefit to make use of this resource that's available yeah. to them. The other thing I'm thinking of, if you if you have diabetic needs or you're gluten free, all those products cost a lot more money than other things on the shelf. That's you might use all of your stamp benefits to buy those kind of products because you need to be on a particular diet. That's going to improve the quality of your life. You know, the other thing I wanted to say, if, you know, if you don't qualify for stamp benefits, you may qualify for fuel assistance. So the best, best place is to call uh, Cheryl, the other social worker and myself and say, can we have a conversation? And we kind of will let you know where you stand. Um, we don't say come in tomorrow. We, you know, when you're ready and you know you're able, then you make an appointment and we figure this out for you. But we're happy yeah. to be in this journey with you. Um, you've earned it as older adults, you know, all your life. Exactly. And, and yeah. start off by having a conversation. So don't think. And once again, this is a standard that I get with folks. You know, they come to see me and they're like, "Oh, I don't have my all my documents ready yet." Just have the conversation first, yeah. right? Because don't, because, because by having the conversation, you also can start feeling like the, the value to the extent that you need to collect up any documents of collecting up the documents. It's like, why am I going through all of this stuff? And the, and the great thing about Lisa is she's got, she can, she can filter, right? Because, you know, you, you, you don't ever want to start off by kind of going online and trying to figure out the government form. Just don't go there. <laughs> just don't. Trust me, it's not your age. It's just confusing. Everything is just so confusing, you know? It is. And, and that's the, you know, that's the great thing about, you know, the, the importance of the senior center, right? It's this filter for, the re- for, for, for people like me who are getting older, right? Who are saying, how does this work again, you know? It, it, Arthur, you're not the only one getting older. We all are. Some of us are very proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I just want to add, actually, I just lost my train of thought. Never mind. Cut that out. Ah, <laughs> speaking just of lost which. It. Oh, I get that. So I, I do that so is. often. It's so nice to see somebody else do it. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah so, I'll Bill, you want to repeat that section when we do when we do, play that one over again. We'll make it as one of our bloopers. Right. So. <laughs> 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 um, well, you know, and Lisa, you mentioned about the healthy incentive program. That's a way that people can increase what they're already receiving as their monthly benefit. And right. to me, that's a no-brainer for people to make use of that. And also to ask about the farmer's market coupons, because there's $25 worth of fresh produce that they can get. And, mm-hmm. and it's really terrific produce from local farmers. Uh, why not make right. use of that? And by the way, speaking of which, so is there... A, Remember, I come from far away Marlboro, right? Is there a farmer's market in Framingham? Yeah. Yes, on Thursdays. And, and where is it? It's at the Village Green at Oak Street and Edgel Road. Yep. And it's you, there, I believe, from 9 to 5 or 10 to 5 on Thursdays. I Thursday. think it's 10 to 5. And then I know Natick and Ashland also have very good farmer markets on different days. You can go to any farmer's market, you know, that you choose to go to. You yep. can go to the Brookshire's and go to a farmer's market. You know, that right. doesn't matter. Right. And okay. a lot of the local farmers rotate. So they're at, at several of those farmers markets, right? Yeah. And we just got a great update by our 
fabulous videographer, Bill, that the farmer's market in Framingham is now noon to five on Thursday. Oh, thank good to know. <laughs> the wonders of technology. <laughs> the, the other thing that's important is you have, if you want to use the healthy incentive money to go back onto your card, you have to ask the vendor if they accept it. Not mm-hmm. all the vendors do. I wish they had some kind of a flag or something that would identify, oh, go to this one because I'm going to double my money up. They don't have that, unfortunately. So make sure that you ask and say, well, I spent $45. I didn't get it back on my card. You won't be able to backtrack. It's like, well, you know, you lose. Uh, so that relates to a good question. So so kind of logistically, right? So if I'm at, I'm at the farmer's, I'm at the stand now, right? And I want to buy something. So how, do, how, how am I buying it in a way that's causing it to, to kind of add, in, get added into my card? What is hap- What do I do? You ask them, are you part of the healthy incentives program? And if they don't know anything about it, then they're not part of it. (laughs) And you go to one of the other farmers who is. I know that Framingham does have one of the vendors who is part of that. It's not um, readily available to me. But when people call Lisa, she can let them know. Yeah, I'm not going to say the name, but there's Uh one vendor that has lots of great quality and a great selection. And people come back and tell me. That was a good experience. I had a good selection. I feel really good that I put $40 back on my card to use for other things I need. And the way you did that was when you were at the farm, you know, you got stopped and you gave them, you gave them your card. Mm -hmm. And they, I see, because, because even if they're not part of this program, they'll take the card. Yeah. I guess that was, that was my question. So there's no, it isn't like I have to pay them cash, get a receipt. Go no. back to Framingham, do some complicated <laughs> thing. I'm just, I'm just giving them my card. Right. It, it, it's like sliding it through any one of those debit or credit card machines. And the ones who are in that healthy incentive <clears throat> program, if you purchased $40 worth of groceries, instead of having $40 deducted, you will see $80 show up back in your benefits <clears throat> on that card. And you can use those $80 for any other allowable food purchases right. with the SNAP card. So it's, it's incredible. It's, it's a wonderful benefit. You know what? And once again, you know, it's, the, it's, you know, t- technology is always great and, except when it isn't, you know, but this is really terrific. So now I'm looking, we talked too long. Lisa, you made us talk too much. So thank it you. It was very all much. Lisa, not you. Arthur. All no, never me. So we'll it was Lisa. This Lisa. Out, yeah. Thank you so much for this. This was just great. Grace, it was great to have invited Lisa back on because it's the summertime, right? And thank you folks for watching. Use those benefits. Get to your farmer's market and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next installment of Frank and Mary here in Framingham. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.